God for uh, the intercept of that. And look, there are people that tell you stuff. I'll say things like, well, a certain uh, general in Special Forces told me, well, I don't believe it. Quinn won't tell his name. What he makes this crap up? You know, and sure enough, stuff will happen just like I've been told. Can I tell you something? We're there, Alex. Let me make the bottom line. Stay there. there. Come back Everything. with the bottom line. 70 seconds. One right to you, Steve. Stay with us, folks. Steve Quayle. Your calls are coming up here in just a moment, but Steve Quayle was about to get to what he said was the bottom line. Steve Quayle. Why, Alex? Oops. Yes, go ahead, Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know if the, if the music was still playing. I thought I was on or not. Bottom line is everything that you and I have warned about and others have warned about is in play now. It's no longer a matter of conjecture. It's no matter uh, of being able to say, well, you're going you're gonna to see this stuff. It's all playing out. By the way, as we're on the radio today, and it's, what, the 28th of December, Erdogan has just been declared, you're going to love this, the head of the Islamic world. Now, I don't know who declared him that, but it's being carried in the news, and it's pretty, it's astonishing for that to have happened, because that means that, and I think this, I think uh, President Putin's incredibly ahead of the curve. He knows he's going to have a problem with the total Islamic invasion of even Russia, because Russia's bordered by what, eight uh, breakaway republics or what well, were breakaway republics that are still very strongly Muslim oriented. So the fact that that's happening while you and I are on the air, what more has to ha happen, Alex? Seriously, what more has to happen? And by the way, I went on record 20 years ago as human beings are completely cloned. And I even proposed the uh, uh, thought, what happens if everybody that goes along with the global mandate has already been replaced. In other words, what happens? People say, I don't believe they're that advanced yet. Hey, the Chinese know it. Everybody I've talked to knows it. The actual, I mean the original, you, Alex Jones, will be the actual. I, Steve Quayle, will be the actual. But the ones who they would dupe that would basically have our mannerisms, our characteristics, and our uh, downloads of what makes us us, the bottom line is, outside of the spirit that God gave us, those they would be almost unknowable. So the point. Well, let me is, say is this: that, If you listen to all the elites and their own admissions, from Ray Kurzweil to you name it, they say we're going to have new clone bodies and we're going to be Superman, and nobody else is going to get to have this. There's a genetic arms race to obtain this, and so much of it's secret. Who knows what they've really got? I mean, 20 years ago, the communist Chinese were cloning cows that were part human to create, uh, uh, you know, human milk. I mean, it's, all, it's been on the market for a decade in China, at least. I tell the average person in the street that, they laugh at me. Oh, there's a cow that's part human. Oh, 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 oh. They won't even Google it, Steve. I know. Well, here's the thing. I'm praying as your audience increases and my audience increases while we still have breath and the protection of Almighty God, which I, I thank the Lord for. Yes. And I do thank the Lord that the, the, the attempt on your life was unsuccessful. But, Alex, listen, every day as the end... That as it, how do I say this? As things speed up and it comes at us from all directions, people have got to understand something that when they go for the guns, they're going for the guns. It will be a blitzkrieg. There you go for a German word. And, and the, well, I can't believe that they got 200, 300 million gun owners or guns in America. Yeah, but you're not, uh, how do I say this? Most people that are hunters don't know how to take on a, a Delta team, if you will, or Spetsnaz or the Chinese. Well, uh, it's going to be beyond that. The, they're going to have a patriot it shoot up a school or something and it's gonna be so embarrassing that you're gonna be blamed with that if you don't submit and turn in the semi-auto they admit their plan once people agree to one group being banned then they will start banning monthly everything after that right and, and people have got to get it together this isn't about taking away your guns they plan to blow the gun owners away a specific canadian general was heard on a on a recorded message, I think Hawk was the one that broadcasted it, and, uh, well, I know he was, the deal is, he, he basically, here's what the general said, paraphrase, but it wasn't a tough statement to remember. The Americans don't understand when they go into the camps, they don't come out, and all of their stuff becomes the spoils of war. You know the old statement, you never find a, a U-Haul trailer behind a hearse? But I think you do intellectually in America. Somehow people think, well, if I just give them my semi-automatic, then I can go back and watch as no, the world they runs. want the gun because they want your kids. They want you. They want it all. They want to sit there 
with the little socialists and all these professors and people literally running camps, kicking our guts in while we're chained down. It's about a power trip for these bags of us. Steve Quayle of SteveQuayle.com is our guest. His latest book is a bestseller, Empire Beneath the Ice, dealing with all the Nazification of America. We want to be clear, it doesn't mean go after the, quote, minorities. It means a system of social control. Eugenicists are on record saying we're not going to go against certain races or people. We're going to go against basically everybody. And it's a science of social control. I want to go to Simon, Frank, uh, Ray, Mike, Chris, and others. We're going to have our guests at the bottom of the hour. Then I'll get into a bunch of special reports and other key intel we have not yet covered. But, Steve, I've got to ask you this question briefly and, and then go to these calls. Matt Drudge was here a few months ago, but I've talked to a lot of other people in media, uh, syndicated talk radio, big local talk radio, you name it. Um, for people that don't know, most of even your smaller radio chains and TV change are financed or controlled one way or another by J.P. Morgan, by Wells Fargo, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, the big one, of course, is Goldman Sachs. They're involved in everything. And I was taken off XM last year, very successful on there after being on like seven years. I was taken uh, off... A a lot of medium-sized company radio stations. And they'd say, nope, no problem. You have the ratings. No problem. People love you. In fact, we've had you on here for years. Will you please just not attack us when we take you off? We'll be honest with you. It is a corporate decision. And that's what's going on. And they're getting rid of uh, locals who are on the radio, conservative morning host and people. And, and I've talked to these folks. It's not to bring in newer, cheaper people. They are putting liberals on. They're putting on fake pseudo-conservatives. So here's how the teams work. And we're going to your calls. You'll have one guy who's a pseudo-conservative but kind of loses the arguments. Then you'll have the, quote, liberal. And that's who they're putting on everywhere. And they even tell people, can you do this new format? This is what the consultants say. And what it means is you do what the consultant says, not because you're going to make money or because it's going to be successful. You do what the corporate consultant says because then the ad agency will give you money. So, Steve Quayle, there is a purge of libertarian patriot media. They're coming after the Internet as well because we're exploding, because we are hurting them. They can't have this criminal takeover and have the TPP rule America outside of law and do forced inoculations if we're on the air. But don't they get that the transmission already went out to the police and military and others, and that and that people now know, don't they get that we didn't just sit here flat-footed the last 20-something years, yourself and countless others, and that we now are in a fighting position? Don't they understand that, Steve Quayle? I think they're blinded by their rage and the lies they believe, the Luciferian lies, uh, Valhalla, if you will, without any... Uh, reference to God. It's a spiritual battle, Alex, but it takes place in the physical realm. I think the problem is is that the uh, professing Christian church has become the weakest expression of that which the men of faith, the men you and I quote, the men you and I read in the Bible laid down their lives for, and Dietrich Bonhoeffer withstood the Nazis. I, I mean, let's face it, there are very few Bonhoeffers in this world. There's a whole lot of kiss or embrace the enemies we're in people because everybody Jesus said friendship with the world is enmity with God okay but people will choose political correctness as long as nobody messes with their big screen TV or whatever it is so basically I call it narcosynthesis narcosynthesis has another meaning but here's how I define narcosynthesis when you know what's his name was it Lenin who said the religion is the opiate of the masses Television is the opiate of the masses. Marshall McLuhan was right. It's not the messages that we see on TV. It's the TV that is the message itself. That's why they call it television programming. The medium is the, the, medium is the message. Yes, sir. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, that's so, it. I've got articles here. Man walks off cliff and plummets 60 feet to his death on Christmas Day, uh, day while distracted by his cell phone. Literally, third world diseases are becoming uh, antibiotic immune, not resistant. All these diseases are exploding. Mass death statistically is increasing. All sorts of real problems. And our elites don't even care because they've got advanced medicines and technologies that basically protect them. It's well known. And it's just crazy.
that that the average person, Steve Quell, would want to go along with this thinking they'll be safe. I talked to a lot of really famous people, as I know you do, off record. And some of them, I mean, you know, just, you know, people think of them as, you know, Mr. Tough Guy. But they can't believe that I'm willing to go on air and do this stuff. Uh, I talked to so many military people, and I mean, you know, famous special forces people, you name it. They're scared uh, of this system. But I don't get how I'd be scared not to fight it and let it win. I'm not fighting this because I'm full of courage. I'm fighting it because I realize I'm like, you know, a dog in a cage being lowered into water. I need to get out of here. I'm going to drown. I mean, don't they have survival instincts? When you see something like this coming at you, you can't run from this. All you can do is fight it. Where, where is the fighting spirit? I mean, I know people are waking up, but where's the fighting spirit, Steve Quayle, to, to really get aggressive with this? Well, it's mind control, Alex, and it's the it's the numbing and dumbing down. Okay, uh, nobody's out of fighting prime when number one they refuse to even acknowledge that there's a war on. Also, the thing is, is that people uh, have no fear of God anymore, but they have fear of man. And I, I said this on the radio, and I stand by it. Do you realize everybody who was outed out of the military in their top positions, generals, admirals, etc., took an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign, domestic, yet they basically left with their pensions and they went quiet. There's maybe a few exceptions. You know some of them. Now, I know in the background, when all hell breaks loose, so do they, okay? So it's not hopeless. But I can tell you this, the country is totally given over to witchcraft. Satanism, uh, Luciferianism, and globalism. And again, what you're seeing is, you have talked, I've talked, ladies and gentlemen, you're talking a quarter of a billion people all in all that have been murdered when global disarmament went into play. Well, listen, it listen, the left is getting really aggressive now, too. They're doing all sorts of dirty tricks behind the scenes. Even their low-level minions are, like, demonically activating, like, zombies getting a radio frequency, and I use that as an allegory, uh, and, 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 like, false police reports, you name it, starting fights with me in, in, you know, lines at checkout counters because of who I am. They're like, it's their time. They're, like, charging up. They're, uh, they feel their hour is here. Well, you're correct, and, and the Bible talks specifically about that, where war is going to be made on the saints, you know? And the thing is, they know. Can I say something? They know now they've got legal cover. They know they've got evil spiritual cover. And the problem is the Christians don't get it. They're serious. And by the way, Alex, just as, as a word of, of uh, encouragement, you know, the people that you know that are capable of providing you you know, 24-hour uh, security, I would recommend you update it. I really would. The point being is I've learned something. Living in the world of death threats and operations, you know, against me is that you cannot take it for granted. You cannot take it for granted. And so just a word because, you know, I don't know when you, you and I will ever be on the radio again together. I don't know what comes down. I can tell you this. World War Three is literally one hair trigger away. And basically, uh, Vladimir Putin is, is probably going to stand out as one of the greatest generals in history. He's given his control uh, his autonomous nuclear fire control to his field commanders. And if people don't think he's serious, I would say this. You saw what happened when they shot down one jet. Wait until NATO pushes Turkey. By the way, I want to keep you for the full hour. I want to get into World War Three after the callers, if you can stay for the rest okay. of the hour. I want to get into... The, the, the former head of DIA going public, as you know, two months ago and saying our government created ISIS, runs it, premeditated. That, 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 that's a big act of courage in this land of cowards. Where that's going and the fact that how this could trigger World War III or the next big war with what Russia's doing. And you're right, Putin has given launch power to the generals in the field. Unprecedented danger. And the average yuppie is just making jokes. The Daily Beast is making jokes. They really all think it's funny. We're going to skip this network break. I want to go to these callers now. Simon in Florida, you're on the air worldwide with Steve Quayle. Go ahead. Hey, gentlemen. How are we doing today? We're all right, brother. Go ahead. Great. The question is for Steve. Steve, um, we know things will be like they were in the days of Noah before the return of Christ. And I wanted to know what you thought about climate change and geoengineering and what they might have to do with possible giants and changing the atmospheric pressure and oxygen levels to create uh, that. Well, specifically, I want to get well, you know, where we can prove here is that they've come out with the Smithsonian and others and admitted that, that the jet condensation, not crystals, 
But but the jet fumes are creating terraforming. The Earth is 22 to 31 percent darker, depending on what area you look at. And it's a big secret program to add the different aluminum dioxide, barium, and other isotopes to the jet fuel through the classic jet engine.